I'm here now with Martin Jarvis, and we are so excited to have him here with us this week and to present this concert with him. Um, and I have a few questions for you. Well, I'll do my best to answer them, Annie. Okay. But first all of right. all, however excited you are, I am more excited, I think, even than you, because it's such a joy and a treat to be here. I've only just been here a very few hours, and I'm having the most wonderful time, and I've been attending the rehearsal in the the Farandol section with the children and the orchestra and then the bell ringers. I could not believe my ears and eyes. It's fantastic. So I'm very excited. Okay. But yeah, it'll be a wonderful time. Um, okay. So the first question, where were you born? Well, I was born in a place called Cheltenham, mm -hmm. which is in Gloucestershire. Some Americans would say Gloucestershire, but we tend to say Gloucestershire in England. What was your favorite acting role ever? My favorite acting role ever was when I played Hamlet quite a few years ago, uh, not only because it's one of the great uh, iconic um, parts in um, uh, British playwriting, uh, Shakespeare of course, but that was where I met my wife, the actress Rosalind Ayres. Mm -hmm. She was Ophelia and I was Hamlet. Can you get more romantic than that? <laughs> We've been married for a very, very long time, so, you know, it must have worked out in some way or another. Do you play any instruments? As a child, I played on the lino linoleum, which actually is what we're standing on. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, I love music. Um, uh, as a director, um, I I'm very interested in the music in some of my BBC productions and NPR productions but I, except for playing the recorder when I was quite young, I was pretty good playing a little number called Peas Pudding Hot, Peas Pudding Cold, Peas Pudding in the Pot, Nine Days Old. I could just about play that, um, but my, my music loving does unfortunately um, not extend to being able to play an instrument myself. Okay, next. If you next. could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Or visit anywhere in the world? Well, it's a Great question, Ali. Um, but the, th the thing is, I think I live there already. West Hollywood. It's a very lovely place, um, especially when the sun is shining a little bit. So I, I do love living uh, uh, in our home in, in West Hollywood. Mm -hmm. I also uh, love living in London. We have a home in London as well. Uh, only about um, three quarters of a mile from Buckingham Palace, just behind the, really behind the back uh -huh. garden of Buckingham uh -huh. Palace. What is your favorite band, musical group, musician, artist? Gosh, it's very hard to whittle them down. Going back to my own generation, Paul McCartney, of course, and, and the Beatles. I've spotted a new group that's up and rising, and I think were in Los Angeles quite recently when we were uh, acting in London, so I wasn't able to see them, but I have heard them, and it's a new group called Wolf Alice. Oh. Look out for Wolf Alice. Okay. They're, they're a rock group, uh -huh. and um, uh, pretty good. What is your favorite Christmas song? I heard it this afternoon, um, and it was sung by Johnny Mathis, and I, I'm a little bit biased because Johnny Mathis and he lives just up the road from us in West oh. Hollywood. Uh, I think he's getting on a bit in years, but uh -huh. um, um, uh, I'm just trying to think which one of the many Johnny Mathis uh, songs it was. Uh, was it? I'm thinking, um, have yourself a merry little Christmas. What is your favorite food? My favorite food? Um, well, this would be an unfashionable answer for many, I, I suspect, but I do love pizza. Yes. What is your favorite Christmas Eve tradition? The famous English um, tradition, it's really in my memory as much as anything. It's when my sister and I were growing up in South London, and um, on Christmas Eve, round about six o'clock, my grandparents would arrive. They only lived 10 minutes walk away. And they would arrive um, and uh, they'd sneak some things under the Christmas tree. Um, and uh, then we'd have mince pies. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I loved my grandparents very much indeed. And, uh, and we'd, we'd sit and talk and joke. I'm talking when we were really from the age of six, seven, eight, nine, they would all, always come. and. Um, and they'd stay the night. 
my, my grandfather would sleep in my bed and I would sleep on a, a camp bed uh, yeah. put up in my little tiny bedroom beside him. And the same with my grandma and uh, my sister in, in my sister's room. And that was just such a brilliant um, tradition. Fill in the blank, every person needs what? Love. Um, do you prefer to read a book or see a movie? Very difficult question. I love watching movies. I love watch, um, li um, listening to books on the radio, mm -hmm. being read to me. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but um, I, I do like both because in m my world of acting, I de I'm dealing with a lot of fiction and, um, and on the um, BBC sometimes um, uh, novels that are uh, dramatized or adapted. Um, I tend not to read novels at the moment purely for relaxation or pleasure. I, would re I love reading um, biography and autobiography. One I've recently finished by John Cleese. Yeah. We say Cleese, you say Cleese. His real name is, was Cheese, did you know that? No. John Cheese, he changed it to <laughs> Cleese. <laughs> Cleese. What is your favorite Disney princess? My favorite Disney princess? It ought to be the Disney princess that's been played on Broadway by um, Laura Osnes, yeah, I suspect. Yes. So I would have to mark that yeah. down as, as my, my favorite. Um, if you'd said, what is your favorite Disney car? I would have said, <laughs> Finn McMissile, British intelligence. <laughs> and I believe that car was voiced by Michael Caine. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. <laughs> what is your favorite subject in school? English. Mm -hmm. Now we would say dra English and drama, but we didn't really have a subject when I was at school called drama. We did school plays and they were done, you know, you'd rehearse them after school was over. There wasn't a drama teacher in that sense. but. Um, uh, certainly uh, English simply because, well English literature to be more precise because that's where I started to discover Shakespeare. Uh, I had um, one particularly brilliant uh, teacher who just made Shakespeare seem so accessible. Oh.